with the masses, you got to start today. I know you've been going room to room, and I know that you did eventually, you were asked about Cam Robinson, but not everybody watching us has seen that. Where do you sit on Cam Robinson uh, after his arrest in May? Well, you know, after looking at the case, uh, we found out that there were a lot of circumstances around this case, as the prosecutor did in choosing not to charge these guys, um, that I can't really discuss here right now. But uh, regardless of that circumstance, you know, our stance on this is we want to do everything that we can to uh, get these guys to change their behavior in terms of making better choices and decisions. And both guys have done a lot of things internally, whether it was police ride around, whether it was community service with, uh, you know, delinquent type behavior situations with young people, uh, where they've been counselors. And if they continue to do these things on a positive, in a positive way, I'm not sure that uh, we'll, we'll make the decision at a later time as to whether they'll be suspended for the first game or not. Coach, to a lot of people, that, that's a very bad look for your program that you're working out internally but not suspending them publicly for an important game against Southern Cal. How, how do you answer those critics? Well, I don't really care to answer the critics because I'm going to do what's right for the players. Uh, and if the players really did anything that wrong, uh, they would have got charged with something. All right, so well, I mean, I, I, just I, because I, I got arrested, that, that, that's, that, that, that's that, debatable if you listen to what the district attorney said and didn't. Simply yeah, the district didn't, 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 didn't say what all was. Like, there were four people in the car. Why did the two football players get arrested and the other guys get not get arrested? All right, there's no law about concealed rep weapons in Louisiana. Is that right, Mark? That's You're right. in Louisiana. All right, so why did they search the car just because there was a gun on the seat? Do you seat? think they were persecuting the football players? I, I, I don't. There's just a lot of questions there that are reasons that there weren't charges brought against these guys. Now, we're going to do every... Now, do we condone the behavior? No. All right, but you're innocent until proven guilty in this country, regardless of whether you get convicted in the media or not, which is what you're doing to these I'm lawyers. Not uh, I'm just a asking you why you were not going to suspend Cam Robinson for the Because Southern I'm Cal not Cal going to convict him in the public. And you said that I was going to get criticized by you and the public and the media because I'm not going to suspend him. And I don't really care about that. It's the end of the conversation. Okay, fair enough. Other topic, quarterbacks. Everybody's eager to see now... We've shown, and you guys have shown over the last couple of years, plug a guy in, year number one, go to the playoffs, win a national championship. But everybody is curious to find out who's going to suit up under center and start game number one against USC. How far along are you in that process? I know you don't want to say who's leading the way, but uh, just let us know where you sit. Well, I, I think it's not basically about what I think. I think it's about the quarterbacks themselves mm -hmm. being able to win over the team based on their consistency and performance, their leadership, their ability to go out there and execute on a consistent basis so the players around them develop a confidence that, and I think Jake Coker did that last year, and I think that's why he ultimately won the job, and I think that's why our team was successful once he won the job.